So guys, today we'll be going to uh, Yanagibashi Ichiba. This is one of the um, oldest uh, fish markets in uh, the Fukuoka prefecture, the Fukuoka region. And um, apparently they started off um, in the early um, Showa era, which is about 70 to maybe 80 years ago. And um, it started off just as a place where the fishermen, the local fishermen would come and sell uh, their seafood, but now it's much more than that and um, it's also known as the um, the kitchen of Hakata, so um, basically this is a place where most of the chefs, most of the um, restaurant owners come to uh, fish for really, um, they come here to get fresh, uh, fresh fish so yeah, it's one of the more famous places um, you can come to visit when you're in Hakata, when you're in uh, Fukuoka Alright, so let's check it out So as you can see, they don't only sell uh, fish, but they also sell like fruits and other different stuff. はい、いらっしゃいませ。この国分の方でも一回食べて買えた方はリピートとして買いには来ます。あ、そうなんですね。その一番最初がやっぱ難しい。美味しいですよね。美味しいんやけど、味見でこう出すけど、味見までいつか
So yeah, um, as you can see, there's um, a lot of um, shops not only uh, selling seafood, but they also sell uh, tea and then uh, some Japanese confectionaries, uh, sweets, and then um, vegetables, uh, fruits. So there's a lot of things that you can actually find here, um, even coffee actually. So yeah, if you ever have the chance, definitely visit Yanagibashi uh, Ichiba, Yanagibashi uh, Fish Market. And um, I think you'll really enjoy the old building, um, which has existed since you know the uh, Showa era, and uh, the many different shops uh, which are inside. So um, I think you're definitely going to like it. So yeah, uh, please check it out if you have the time. So yeah, um, as you can see, there's um, a lot of um, shops not only s uh, selling seafood, but they also sell uh, tea and then uh, some Japanese confectionaries, uh, sweets, and then um, vegetables, uh, fruits. So there's a lot of things that you can actually find here, um, even coffee actually. So yeah, if you ever have the chance, definitely visit Yanagibashi uh, Ichiba, Yanagibashi uh, Fish Market. And um, I think you'll really enjoy the old building, um, which has existed since you know the uh, Showa era, and uh, the many different shops uh, which are inside. So um, I think you're definitely going to like it. So yeah, uh, please check it out if you have the time. So now we'll be walking to the Sumiyoshi Shrine, otherwise known as Sumiyoshi Jinja. And um, it's, uh, there's a lot of Sumiyoshi Jinjas in Japan. There's, about, um, there's more than 2,000 actually. And this one is known as the oldest uh, one, the oldest shrine. So it's famous for that. Um, and also uh, this shrine is known to cleanse your heart, to purify your heart and uh, protect you from all kinds of danger. So that's what this uh, shrine is known for. Um, and that's also one of the reasons why a lot of people come visit here. And also the fact that it's one of the oldest shrines out of all the Sumiyoshi shrines. So let's go in. So you'll also notice that there, there's actually uh, another shrine um, right by the Sumiyoshi, um, right within the Sumiyoshi Jinja area, the compound area. Um, and you can also visit this shrine as well, but it's a very small shrine. So before you enter this shrine, just make sure to follow um, these rules. So no food or drink, no, no drones, and um, yeah, just try and not make too much noise. This is a very big shrine um, and it's very beautiful as well. So this one is apparently the god of sumo and um, it's been um, carved I think out of stone by a really famous um, sculptor. This is where everyone comes to uh, pray.
So you'll find lots of this when you come to a shrine. Um, these are like message boards where uh, people write down um, all the important messages, maybe f uh, concerning health or their families or their jobs, their passions, ambitions. And they write that down and then they tie it up here. Um, and it's, I think, written on like a wooden, something made out of wood. So there's a lot of messages, as you can see. And usually there's a place where you can buy these message boards and you can also buy like good luck charms or um, these papers which sort of give you um, your sort of uh, the fortune for the year f um, or s uh, something similar like that. So now we are at this place called Raksuyen and it's, um, it's a very traditional sort of a garden um, that's been built for tourists. Now it's like that. Um, this place has been uh, there from the Meiji era which is going to be probably about a hundred years ago or so. And um, originally it was built for like the emperors to sort of enjoy as like a garden. Um, but now it's open for the public and they've also renovated it so that it also has um, Chastu. Chastu is like um, a place where you can enjoy green tea ceremonies um, and that's why you can find um, these types of uh, boards as well. You can enjoy uh, green tea. Let's check it out. So apparently you can also check out inside, but um, if you want to use the rooms, you have to pay. Uh, we'll just check out the the um, the hall inside. Very zen, very quiet, very beautiful. This one is the koi or the Japanese fish which is pretty famous um, for having these different little stripes on its scales and body. They're probably very used to getting fed so that's why they're probably uh, coming uh, very close to us. So guys, apparently they do like tea ceremony lessons uh, inside here, like inside these rooms. So um, uh, you'll have to pay separately for that. Um, but this is a very uh, interesting, uh, a very good opportunity if you want to know how the tea ceremony is done here in Japan. So 
So yeah guys, if you ever have the chance, definitely visit Laksuyen, very close to Sumiyoshi Shrine. Um, it's a really nice place just to chill and you know, forget about the city, forget about the noise. Um, it's a really nice place, so definitely check it out. And admission fee is only 100 yen, which is like $1. Alright guys, so we are at our last stop. Um, this is Hakata City, uh, Hakata City Station, and um, yeah, Hakata Station is one of the biggest um, stations in uh, Kyushu, in the Kyushu region, and it's also famous for um, its um, delicacy called uh, mentaiko, which is the fish egg roll or the fish roll, and lots of people come to buy those kind of gifts and um, other different little souvenirs that it has to offer. There's also a lot of uh, malls, shopping malls, um, cinema theatres um, and um, on the ground floor you can find um, a lot of uh, different food and there's also the sky restaurants called uh, Tenku and those are in the um, top floors of uh, the Hakata station. So yeah, this is a place where you'll probably be visiting um, whenever you come to Fukuoka because this is uh, pretty much the main, uh, the center of transportation where you will most likely come across. So that's the first floor of um, the Hakata station. It's very busy when it's busy, but when it's not too busy, it's okay. And this is the second floor where you can go to Amu Plaza. And um, there's also the entrance to um, another different um, another different department store over there. 